Hello everybody. Today we're going to go up to Sheboygan and try salmon fishing at the dam again if we don't get crowded out. And it's 38 degrees and it keeps snowing on and off. And Don has a sore rib. Yeah, it's out of place. Yeah. Yeah. So I that had to have me tie up my shoes. Oh. Well, that's not good. And I worked yesterday, and now I don't work again until Saturday. And Becky, Troy, Steve, and John were just here. And we're going to meet back up with them at their house up there. So, that's what's going on so far. And Smokey's in the house like he should be to stay warm, but Gizzard isn't. I don't know where Gizzard is. We picked up a couple things at Walmart and now we're gonna go home. All right, now it's day two and we're going to try to go back up to Sheboygan and go fishing again because the weather is not horrible now. So hopefully it'll work out. And today the tags, the new ID tags came for the cats. Gizzard is gone again, so I'll put his on after he gets back. But Smokey has his, so he's a jingly kitty too now. It's green. See, now you can see it, I think. He's not used to it yet. But at least people know who he is and where he belongs and who he belongs to. You have one too, don't you? In all that fur. You've had one for years. That way people know where you guys belong. So it's really, really windy, and I have my finger over the microphone until we can get some of those uh, dead mouse things. So I hope that you can hear us at all. But now they have the whole dam open, and it's crazy. But we'll see if we can catch anything. So now we're home. We ended up leaving pretty quick because it was really windy and it was just as cold yesterday as it was, I mean today as it was yesterday. The only thing that was different was there was no snow. So we ended up giving up because we weren't catching anything and we were freezing. But dinner is pasta with turkey burger and a little bit of shredded cheese. And that's Don's. And Tug's just scratching himself. Hey Tug! Tug! Hello! <laughs> so cute. Well, Don is over at his friend's house. Uh, he got home from his friend anyway. Got he back from Florida last night and came to see Don and now Don went over there to visit him. And they haven't seen each other since high school. That's how long this guy was gone. And I used to play with this guy as a kid. But then uh, one time when we were little kids, I had ADHD when I was a kid and I got all hyper when I was over there. And I bit him on the arm. So he never ever spoke to me again. I'm hoping after all these years he forgot about that, but I don't know. Last night when he was here, he talked to Don. He didn't talk to me, so I don't know. But I decided to just stay home and let Don do his catching up over there. And 
nothing else is going on tonight. I know this is another stupid short one, but honestly nothing much has been going on. Uh, my health is getting worse and worse and worse because I am in terrible pain all the time now. My whole body and I have no energy and I just feel horrible all the time. And yesterday I weighed myself and it was 303 pounds, so yay, good for me. And I haven't done anything that I'm supposed to when it comes to eating. My eating has been horrible, so. And uh, I know everything could be just fine if I ate right and exercised again like I did in 2014, but I'm drowning so bad right now I can't get myself to do anything I'm supposed to. So. I have to be in pain and misery until I get my head screwed back on straight to uh, get everything taken care of. And Don is supposed to do the same thing since he's now pre-diabetic and has high cholesterol and all that, but he doesn't want to. So he's also supposed to quit smoking, but he doesn't want to and he never will. So he's one of those people that doesn't listen to the doctor. I was hoping maybe getting an official diagnosis would wake him up, especially with the smoking, but it's not going to, so I guess he's going to smoke until the day he dies. I can't do anything about it. And as long as he keeps bringing garbage into the house, that's going to make it really hard for me to uh, stop my, my eating addiction. I have binge eating disorder, so... It's not cool when there's junk here, but all Don can say is, well, ha have self-control. Well, that's like sticking a needle in a heroin addict's face and laughing at him and saying, have self-control, ha, ha, ha. When I lost 150 pounds in 2014, I didn't have any garbage in the house. That is the way I did it. But now it's here all the time, so it makes it even harder. But anyway I don't mean to rant and sound like a whiny baby and all that so I'm gonna go ahead and say good night and I hope you enjoyed the video and that you like subscribe comment share and you're having a good night and I'll see you next time